What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If your car doesn't have a backup camera like mine and you want to add one, this is the easiest way to do it. So let's go ahead and unbox this Fensens uh, camera license plate holder. So I just want to show you, it's pretty innovative. There is a camera here that's built into the license plate holder so that you can, on your smartphone, monitor what you're doing. So you get a backup camera in any car you know even ones that are maybe older and don't have those cameras which are like most of my cars now the big thing about these is how long is the battery going to last in them and that's always been the problem and some of the fence products i had in the past have been great like the the backup the sensor and everything but this one has a new innovation and right here you might not even be able to see it but it's like a translucent um, cover right there and that is a solar panel right behind it so it will continue to charge the batteries in the bracket here the license plate frame so that you don't have to continuously replace those batteries which is an awesome innovation because you're not using necessarily the camera that often you know whenever you're backing up maybe once or twice a day at, at most and so i think catching a little bit of that sunlight can top off those batteries pretty nicely so you get that you also get this tap button i'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second here we also get this little box here it looks like we get a micro usb cable so that's for charging stuff we also get some bracketry and screws to mount this sucker on now let's take a close look at the frame itself all plastic housing it's nice and black so it'll kind of fade into your car uh, because it is a little bit bulky you might be able to see here you know, how big it is it, you want it to be pretty subtle but it's all just a matte black plastic and this is where the batteries are you can kind of feel the weight down there and usually i don't know if they're like 18 650 batteries maybe two or three of them uh typically behind there but i love the fact that this is already sealed up with the solar panel right there here is the camera itself pretty innocuous looking right up at the top there in the housing so that'll give you a little bit of an angle you can see how the camera's angle so it's looking down so you should be able to see hopefully with the wide angle there maybe even your bumper so that you know exactly where that is and then the app they'll usually even have some trajectory lines or distance lines you can see we have two metal holes right up here on the bracket and then um, even if you put in screws to hold the license plate down there are some cutouts right here so i don't ha think you have to worry about uh, this not fitting on top of it so you can actually screw the the license plate in the top and the bottom potentially and put those in now this little button here is kind of interesting because it says tap it's a little rubberized button a little tiny housing and it's got a double-sided uh, mounting tape on the back and this is like a little bluetooth button so you pair this to your phone and what happens is you download the fensense app so that you can see what the license plate holder is picking up and when you get in your car, you just tap this button and because it's connected to your phone, it'll launch that app automatically so that you'll be able to see what you're doing right away. So you don't have to uh, swipe up, find the app, open it up. It's just a quick shortcut. And in fact, these are great because then you can just mount it wherever, somewhere out of, out of sight. So you can just quick hit that sucker and boom, boom, boom. You see everything ready to rock. So what I have to do here is I have to go ahead and install it, uh, download the app, and then we will try it out. Let's get on it. Now, downloading the app is pretty simple. You can find the Fensense app in your app store. And the way it'll connect to the license plate frame is through Wi-Fi. So uh, the frame is putting out a Wi-Fi network and you want to connect to that. And that's what will uh, create that connection when you jump in your car. Now, as I was getting it set up, I could find that it connects pretty quickly and absolutely works. So it's pretty easy to install and it looks pretty good. It's pretty unobtrusive there. Looks good in the black actually. So now let's try it out. And my car is of a vintage where I don't have a rear backup camera. It was long before it was required. And looks like it's connecting to my camera there. I've all loosened up the stand because I want to show it to you in portrait and in landscape. Boom! There is the image, which is awesome. And if I just tighten it down here a little bit, look at that. I can use just this camera to back up and line up with my driveway which is awesome but i am also going to just pull forward again here because oh man this is sweet i've got a backup camera in this car this car was like a decade before they started requiring them um, but i'm going to go ahead and turn this into landscape mode and boom look at that that is awesome now i have it landscape mode big it's dusk here it's getting kind of dark but that is great screen quality. And again, I just back up here using only the camera. 
Well, I can tell I'm off uh, course there. Just do a little correcting. Woo! Not looking behind me at all. That is awesome. Trajectory lines the whole nine yards. This Fenson's camera is sweet. What a great way to add a backup camera to any car. So if you have an older car, vintage car, I might actually get another one for my Grand Sport because that car is impossible to see out of the back. So what an easy, easy way to do it. The other thing I want to mention here is that it's possible, because I have this Android head unit here, to download the FenSense app right here and have it connect directly to there too. So that would be awesome. So hey, if you want to pick up the FenSense backup camera license plate frame, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.